Coral reefs are, are not just a pretty face. Coral reefs providing really incredibly important services to people all across the tropics and subtropics, including food, you know, income for tourism, etc. But also shoreline protection. Without the structure of the coral reef off the coast of many islands, waves and the effects of sea level rise will be much greater. Coral bleaching is what is the paling or whitening of corals that happens when they're exposed to really warm temperatures. And it happens because corals themselves are made up of both the, the animal, the coral animal, and these little tiny plants uh, that live in the animal's tissue that give them most of its energy. When corals bleach, it's, it basically happens that when corals are exposed to unusually warm water or some other sort of extreme uh, environmental conditions, the coral either consumes or expels the little algae. And since the algae are giving the coral most of its color, Without the algae, the corals look white. The problem is when corals are bleached, um, they're effectively being starved to death. And if bleaching lasts for long enough, without enough food, the corals are gonna die. And without living corals on a reef, you, the reef itself is gonna break down over time. You need living corals both to build the structure of the reef, but also to provide the habitat for all for fish and all the other organisms that live there. Listen, coral reefs are existentially threatened by climate change. They are the canaries in the in the coal mine here. This is uh, coral reefs with more than one and a half degrees of warming are at threat of being degraded all around the world. And there are things that we can do. We can reduce the local pressures on coral reefs. We can be more careful when we go, um, we visit them as tourists and everything. But none of that's going to matter if we don't do enough to reduce greenhouse gas emissions.